Find the equation of a circle that passes through these three points then. So if we find the midpoint of AB, first of all, and then we can do the midpoint of AC. So let's do that first then. The midpoint of AB. Um, and that has, if we add these up, 2 plus minus 1 is 1, divide by 2. 5 plus 2 is 7, divide by 2. So that's the midpoint of AB. The midpoint of AC then. Um, a to C, add these, 3 plus minus 1 is 2, divide by 2 is 1, 4 plus 2 is 6, divide by 2 is 3. So there's our two midpoints on our chords. The gradient of AB then we need from A to B equals, from A to B the increase in Y is 5 minus 2 is 3, the increase in X is minus 1 to 2 is 3, so the gradient of AB is 1. The gradient of AC then of AC. So it goes, the increase in Y, it goes from 2 to 4 is 2. And then it goes from minus 1 to 3, which is 4, the increase in X. So that's a half. So L1 then, the first line. This would be a line that goes through perpendicular goes through the midpoint of AB and it's perpendicular to AB so it's y minus 7 over 2 is equal to the gradient this is 1 so the gradient here is minus 1 x minus a half so there's the straight line through the middle of the uh, bisector perpendicular to the chord and as far as the other line is concerned line 2 what have we got then? We've got y minus 3 uh, equals the gradient, which would be minus 2, x minus 1. Yeah, so these are our two lines. They intersect at the center. So this tells us then that y is equal to minus x plus a half plus 7 over 2. So y equals x minus plus 4. So all I did was move the minus 7 over 2 to plus, expanded this bracket and got plus a half. 3 and a half plus a half is 4, so that's equation 1. This one, minus 2x plus 2, move the minus 3 over to plus 3. So y is equal to minus 2x plus 5, and that's equation 2. So we've got these, let them equal another. So here... When they intersect, we see that minus x plus 4 is equal to minus 2x plus 5. And that tells us, move this minus 2x over to be plus. 2x take 1x is x. Move the 4 over to be minus 4. 5 take 4 is 1. So x is 1, that's the center. If x is 1, uh, then y is equal to minus 1 plus 4 is 3. If we put 1 in here again, minus 2 plus 5 is 3. So there's our center. So center has center is 1 and 3. Now the radius, well it would be the difference from this coordinate, the distance from this coordinate to any of the points on the edge of the circle. Um, and we could choose a convenient point. Let's take the point 3, 4. So radius would be the square root 3, 4. The difference in the x's is 2, so that's 2 squared. The difference in the y's is 1, so that's 1 squared. So the radius is 2 plus 1 is 5. 4 plus 1 is 5, rather, so that's root 5. So our, our equation then, x minus 1 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to the radius squared, which is that squared. 5, giving x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared minus 6x plus 9 is equal to 5. So then x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 6y is equal to, or we could put uh, the number there, couldn't we, if we wished. Um, 1 and 9 is 10, move the 5 over to minus 5. 10 take 5 is 5. And this is the equation of the circle.